Jared Poland Fronos Photo.com and welcome to the raw edit of the week number 54. And it's brought to you by Alan's Camera. That's right, Alan's Camera.com is up and running for all of you all of you people in the United States. Please check them out before you go ahead and order something online because they may have better pricing than where you're looking currently. Uh, so we have a raw file here that I've been sitting on for quite a while. It's been in the folder waiting to be edited. I've, I've just, you know, I look at it and, and yeah, hold on. Yeah, I just wanted to do something. It's just, I was thinking that this was edited already, but I kept hitting the reset button because it's not edited yet, which is incredible what this image looks like out of the camera. What was it taken at? One one hundredth of a second, F20, thus explaining why everything is in focus from the tree right here in the front all the way to these mountains in the back. This is like some crazy stuff going on in this image. It was taken, uh, sorry, uh, F20, ISO 220, which means this may have been auto ISO, 42 millimeters with the 18 to 200, uh, with the Nikon D90. Incredible, incredible color and depth in this image. It's almost like it's two images composited into one. You've got the cloud, uh, the, the clouds, the mountains, then you have the trees, then you have the in-between area. This is just crazy. It's like we're going to, it's like we're in, in uh, Lord of the Rings or something and we're like trying to get over there to my Presseth or something. Uh, so this is an interesting file and I, I it's going to be incredible to see what you guys are going to do to this. And last week, I haven't yet gotten to the Your Raw Edits. There were 28 or 29 pages of them. I'm going to get to that, and I will post it this week for you. And then I will um, post this one next week as well. But yeah, so this is the raw file for you to edit. You can edit this, and be sure to rename it Frono's Photo Raw Edit of the Week for, uh, 54. And you can put it up on Flickr, Facebook, uh, what are the, some of the others? Google Plus, and definitely put it into the forum so that you could be uh, basically show everybody what you've done and be pulled out in an honorable mention or something like that when I show your raw edits of the week. Do not email your raw edits to the email address because that's not where you send them. You put them up in the forum or anywhere in the social media world. And also be sure to make some screen flows of how you do your edits like we do each week because those are great for everybody to check out. Do it as a response to this video called Fro and name it Frono's Photo Raw Edit 54. I'm a little dyslexic with fours and fives. I kind of reverse them all the time so I have to think about it. 54. Uh, so screen flows would be great and if you have a raw file to submit not this raw file, but a raw file of your own, please submit it to froknowsphoto at gmail.com. Be sure to include your edited JPEG as well as the, un well, the raw file itself because it's not going to come edited anyway. So yeah, definitely do that. And Adam and I will be back at the end of the week to show you our raw edit of how we edited these so you can get some Lightroom tips out of us for that and see how we did compared to your raw edits. And that is going to be it. This is raw edit number 54. Go ahead and download that file and let's see what you come up with. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!